Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be defining the new part in the structure catalog in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll begin creating a cylindrical shaped manhole structure in Part Builder by creating a new part chapter and a new part family within the structure catalog. You'll also configure work planes in the Part Builder parametric modeling environment so you can proceed with modeling the part in subsequent exercises. Because you'll be working with a part builder environment, you don't need to have a drawing open to begin this exercise. However, the Autodesk Civil 3D Tutorials Drawings folder includes a drawing that contains the completed part, in this case, a cylindrical manhole structure. If desired, before or after completing this exercise, you can open the Part Builder 1B drawing to see what this finished part looks like. Go ahead and go into your Home tab and then to your Create Design panel. Click on Part Builder. In the Getting Started Catalog screen, in the Parts Catalog list, go ahead and select Structure. Select the Junction Structures with Frames folder. Then, click the button New Parametric Part. For a name, type in Cylindrical Manhole. We're going to call this 1. Now, click the box underneath Description. The description matches the name by default. Go ahead and click OK. The Part Builder Parametric Modeling Environment is now open as you can see. Expand the part configuration. For undefined part type, we're going to change this to Junction Structure. For undefined, we're going to leave this as undefined. For undefined bounded shape, Select this, right click, and click Edit. Change this to Cylinder. The part is now configured as a cylinder shape with the properties of a junction structure. Expand Modeling. Then right click on Work Planes. Select Add a Work Plane. The Create Work Plane dialog box is displayed. Click Top. Then click OK. The top work plane is now created. Expand the work planes. Then right click on top plane. We're going to go ahead and rename this. Name it to rim. This work plane will be the rim elevation of the new structure. Lastly, go ahead and click this button to save the part family. Go ahead and select Yes. So that's how you go about defining the new part in a structure catalog in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.